What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check this out. We all know about this Ray movie that has been announced, uh, that got announced at Star Wars Celebration. Daisy Ridley coming back to reprise her role as Ray Palpatine. That's what I'm going to call her because she sure as hell ain't a Skywalker. Uh, but we've all heard about this film, and apparently now we're starting to get some information on it, uh, at least some rumors about it. As it says here on this comicbookmovie.com headline, has the title of Charmaine Obey Chinoy's Ray focused movie been revealed yeah so this article has a title in it okay it's a dumb title it's a terrible title and we'll go ahead and show that in a second but just for the record i don't think this movie is going to get made at all okay we'll discuss it in the event that it does but i don't think this film is ever going to see the light of day as a matter of fact if i had to take those three films that came out during star wars celebration that they announced all right they announced this film they announced the mandoverse uh kind of culmination with dave filoni and then they announced to James Mangold uh, Jedi film that takes place like 25,000 years ago or whatever all right if I had to make a guess as to which one of those is the most likely to come out it would be that Mandoverse film for obvious reasons okay all of that stuff has been playing out on Disney Plus over the last few years so they probably want to just kind of wrap it up with a film and that's what they gave to Dave Filoni I completely understand why they would do that but I don't think it's going to happen because the last three things that have come out of the Mandoverse have just been utter dog shit we're talking about mando season three ahsoka and obviously the book of boba fett you know all of that stuff was just trash and i don't think there's any chance in the world that they're going to continue that all right until the ratings start picking up there's no way they're going to spend you know 300 million to 400 million dollars or whatever it's going to cost to make that film produce it market it and put it out there i don't think there's any chance in the world when they know that nobody's interested in it and nobody's going to watch it but this thing right here there is even less interest in this okay even less than there is in the mandoverse film there's even less interest in a ray movie all right and then that Jane Miss Mangold crap look, I don't think that's going to happen either. All right. They're going to have to change some things up if they want to continue telling Star Wars stories. But let's go ahead and see what the title of this crap fest is going to be. We have been hearing that Daisy Ridley might be in talks to return as Star Wars sequel trilogy lead Rey for a future project set in a galaxy far, far away for quite a while. And the news was finally confirmed during Star Wars Celebration London back in April. Uh, Ridley will reprise her role as Rey Palpatine, it's not a Skywalker, uh, for director Charmaine Obey Chinoy's movie, which will be set a whole 15 years after the events of Rise of Skywalker. Plot details are still mostly under wraps, but we do know that Rey will be a powerful Jedi master running her own training academy when we catch up with her. Yeah, just like Luke was supposed to do, right? Yeah, oh yeah, she's, she's setting up her own academy, you know, her own temple. That's what they're going to have Rey do. They're going to have her basically be Luke Skywalker. Yeah, utter bullshit. Uh, what we're exploring is the evolution of the Jedi, as uh, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy told Empire when the project was first announced. We're moving 15 years after the rise of Skywalker. The First Order has fallen. The Jedi are in chaos. And there's even a question of how many exist anymore. And Rey's building the new Jedi Order uh, based on the text that she was given and that Luke imparted on her. And now the title of the movie may have been revealed. So here it is. The title of the movie, and they heard it through YouTuber Star Wars Meg, who has shared some accurate details in the past, has heard that the Ray Focus film will be called Star Wars A New Beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that sound like some lame shit that Lucasfilm would do. I'm just going to keep it 100. It sounds super duper lame. It sounds like some crap that you would have. Just no imagination whatsoever. All right. None at all. That sounds like Lucasfilm. So I like low key believe that whoever wrote this script, they wrote that at the top. Okay. Star Wars, a new beginning. That's probably sitting on a script right now, you know, for these idiots, man. These, this utter trash, man. These are the people that George Lucas handed the franchise to. Unbelievable. A little on the generic side? Yeah, no shit is on the generic side. Uh, sure, but it does sound like something Lucasfilm would go with for a title of a movie that represents a relaunch of sorts for the franchise on the big screen. Yeah, again, Lucasfilm has no creativity whatsoever. Uh, even if this is accurate, there's a chance it's simply a working title, although it might be worth noting that Kennedy did reveal that work on this movie is further along than we realize, so it might well prove to be the official title. It's probably not a working title. Look, Lucasfilm does 
keep the titles of these things under wraps. You know, it was always episode 7, episode 8, episode 9 before they had this great reveal of what the name of the film was going to be, you know. They just called it episode 8 or whatever, you know, episode 9, and that was it. And then we finally get the name of the film, and yeah, for them to say A New Beginning, I absolutely believe that's what it is. Uh, we've been working on that film for a few years, and all of that feeds into our overall storytelling, she told Yahoo. So we've just got to a point now where we've got a wonderful writer in Stephen Knight, and we're probably going to see a script in the next month and a half that we've been working on for a while, so we're getting close. Uh, that was back in April, so even taking the recent Hollywood strikes into account, pre-production must be sur surely at a more advanced stage than it was six months ago. What do you think? Would you be happy with the title of Star Wars A New Beginning as the title of the new Ray movie? Listen, the new Ray movie is going to be a disaster. I don't care what they call it, all right? They could call it the most amazing thing in the world. It's going to be absolute trash, all right? Uh, but yeah, here's the tweet that they got that information from. Let's check this out. Yep, and here's the tweet from old he, him, himself, uh, Star Wars Councils. According to a new leak uh, from Star Wars Meg, the title of the film that will focus on the creation of a new Jedi Order with Rey is Star Wars A New Beginning. The authenticity of the leak remains questionable. Look, I, I, I believe that's probably sitting on top of that script, all right? On that title page of that script, it says the Star Wars A New Beginning, all right? Because that's how untalented these clowns are. Uh, but they say, yeah, it's possibly a, a working title or whatever. But yeah, let's read some of these comments right here. Uh, unless it's a new beginning for the sequel trilogy, I'm not interested. It's not going to be a new beginning for the sequel trilogy. It's just going to be a continuation. It's going to be utter horse shit. Uh, did they not learn anything from the sequels? This sounds terrible already. Please, no. Please, God, no. Anything but that. Does it sound like anybody's interested in this Ray movie? You know, nobody's interested in this thing, okay? Nobody's coming to check for this. Uh, so frustrating considering this is what episode seven should have been and they should have developed Ray correctly, but they went in with no plan and fucked everything up. I'll never be able to forgive JJ for what he did. It's just, it's worse than that, okay? It's worse than that. This should have been Luke. Luke should have already had a Jedi temple in place and running things, all right? And then you step into that world. That's what they should have done. You know, and then let maybe Ray could be one of his students and she's got a lot to learn and all of this other crap or whatever you wanted to do if you wanted to introduce the character of Ray, you know. But again, you know, you know me, I've always said that Finn should have been the lead character in the sequel trilogy in the first place. It was picture perfect. Stormtrooper turned Jedi. Go. OK, there was no reason to make Ray the lead unless you have some sort of agenda at play. Uh, I don't want to see her character again. I don't understand how Kathleen Kennedy has a job. Nobody does. Ask Mike Zero. He knows it all. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, they would be smart not putting any reference to the New Jedi Order storyline or characters as that didn't work out so well for Ahsoka. Yeah, I mean, all of that stuff has just been trash, garbage, basura. There's no reason to go down that path anymore. You know, again, I would do something completely different with Rey. I wouldn't even have her fiddling around setting up an entirely new Jedi order. You know, I would have, honestly, if I were to do it, I would make Ezra, you know, since they're bringing Ezra back in through this Ahsoka show and through this whole Mandoverse crap, I would let Ezra be the Jedi master that runs the temple, okay? Seeing what he's gone through, I would make him the Jedi Master, and yeah, Ray, you could just be an assistant or something. You could be like how Yoda was the Jedi Master, and then he had his little councils. Yeah, you could sit on the council. Sure, go ahead. All right, but I would let Ezra lead that thing. And then again, I would have Finn as the lead of the film, not necessarily, you know, on the council, but maybe he's also, you know, a Jedi in training or whatever, working with Ray, all that kind of stuff. That's what I would be doing. That's just me. We all know that we can't do anything about the sequels being the worst in the Star Wars arc, but what we can do is wait and see the next movies play out. I think we should give this movie a chance. If it lives up to it, then Star Wars is back, baby. Hey, hey. I mean, you know what? Knock yourself out. If you love this stuff or if you want to give this thing a shot, all right, go ahead. I'll give every movie a shot. Let me take that back. I'll give every movie a shot. I just have zero confidence in this thing being any good, okay? Because I've already seen what these guys at Lucasfilm are all about, and they're not about good storytelling, all right? All they're trying to do is push ideology, push agendas, and they're just trying to sell merch. That's it, okay? And they think Star Wars, the label Star Wars sitting on top, that just sells itself. All we got to do is just push content in everybody's face. Oh, but that hasn't been working out. So, yeah, that's why they got to really sit down and think about what it is that they want to do. Do they want to throw another 200 300 400000000 million into this Ray movie? All right? 
You see how it worked out with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Luke, this film? I don't know. I'd be careful about that. Yeah, comicbookmovie.com got some comments too. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> yeah, they're saying it's fake bad source. I mean, it could be, all right? But again, it, it's important that Lucasfilm and all of these cats over at Disney, they pay attention to what people are saying, you know, and make sure that they get it right because Star Wars can't take too many more hits. You know, it's already taken a ton of hits. I don't think it can take any more. You know, it's going to go down the next time. Uh, should be called Ray the Taker because all she does is take things that aren't hers. Jeez, man. Uh, exactly. They had to take away all that Luke built in the original trilogy just to give it all to Ray. Even the death of Palpatine, previously a work of father and son over a generation, is now just done by Ray. 100%. They've completely just eradicated the importance of Luke Skywalker and the sequel and the uh, original trilogy. They've wiped it all out. That's that's the worst part about all of this. Friday the Thirteenth Part Five: A New Beginning. <laughs> <laughs> perfect man perfect I, I i don't even know why i didn't think of that man that's an absolute perfect analogy man utter bullshit i really don't see the return of star wars to the big screen to be very big even the feloni film 100 percent, man i agree i agree i don't think this feloni film is gonna make it i don't think this thing is coming out at all but out of all the films they announced i think it has the best chance but I don't think Kathleen Kennedy wants to sink uh, 300 or 400 million dollars into this Mandoverse crap after what Ahsoka did. You know, nobody's interested. And I know everybody out there in the comments, some of y'all are going, oh man, what are you talking about? Ahsoka was great. I love Ahsoka. Okay, you can love Ahsoka all you want to, but you are in the minority, in my opinion, all right? The, the numbers don't lie. Look, look, hold on. Let me look at it. Yeah, here go Hector Navarro. Uh, Samba TV reports 863,000 households tuned in for the Ahsoka finale in comparison to 1.2 million who tuned in for the premiere. Numbers don't lie. People lost interest. Why? See, this is what you're wrestling with. You're not wrestling with me. You wrestling with these numbers when y'all say, oh, no, man, Ahsoka was great. You just a hater. Okay, well, again, you got to wrestle with these numbers. And Kathleen Kennedy, she's looking at these numbers, too, and she's thinking, hmm, do I spend money on this Mandoverse movie? Am I ready to drop 300 or 400 million dollars into what it's going to cost in order for me to make one of these joints? And do I think that people are going to go and check it out so we could get a return on our investment? Okay. Because they've been losing their asses. So that's the question. You're not fighting with me. You're not fight You can talk to me in the comments. I don't care. But you're not fighting with me. This is the reality of the situation. And y'all just need to understand that. That's all I'm trying to say. If they brought A-listers to make this, maybe. But they chose Charmaine Obey Chinoy. He's a Pakistani-Canadian journalist, filmmaker, and activist known for her work in films that highlight gender inequality against women. You know this is not going to go well. See, again, you're not getting actual filmmakers. You're not getting people that are interested in storytelling. You're getting activists. This chick is an activist, and she's all about the gender inequality against women. Do you think that that's going to somehow inform her storytelling? Do you think that somehow this gender inequality that she's been fighting for and that she's been putting, again, her work in films highlight this stuff. Do you think that that's going to have a lot to do with this Ray film? I mean, I'm just saying, you guys, you got to see what I'm seeing. And again, I don't have anything against women. Uh, none of that. But this chick is an activist, and she is here to be an activist. She is not here to be a storyteller. She's telling her story through the lens of her own, maybe her personal experiences or whatever. It's all going to turn out bad. Ray will be a powerful Jedi master running her own training academy when we catch up to her. So literally what Marvel Comics had Luke do in its original uh, run post Return of the Jedi and many EU books show Luke doing as well. How creative. Uh, maybe they should do something different and have her become a broken, disillusioned failure who becomes a hermit on a desert island or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I mean, why not? If it's good enough for Luke, right? What's wrong with, she can become a failure. She can go and be a hermit on an island. And again, what's wrong with that? I see nothing wrong with it at all. <laughs> this is what they need to do. Honestly, this is what they need to do, okay? If you want to bring Ray back, I said this on a previous video. You got to go to Dark Ray, all right? You have to go to Dark Ray. 
You start with that vision that she had. I said this before. I'm going to repeat it. You start with the vision that she had in The Rise of Skywalker, you know, when she's turning all evil and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, she's been wrestling with that because she knows that she's part Palpatine. She understands that. So she's kind of curious about, you know, I'm growing stronger in the Force, but at the same time, I feel this kind of Sith side kind of rising up inside of me every once in a while. That's the Palpatine side of her. And so she's trying to, you know, she's struggling with that. Again, character need, character desires, the things that are kind of in conflict with each other. She wants to be a great Jedi master, but she's feeling the Sith rising up within her. So she has a need to put that down. So how does that need propel her in her story? Oh, well, she knows she goes and she talks to Ezra. Again, I would still say Ezra is your Jedi master. She goes and talks to Ezra about it. Ezra's like, well, you know what? I mean, we're all non-temple trained Jedi. Eye, you know none of us were trained in a temple we didn't learn at the feet of master yoda like some of these other guys you know luke was the last one but he was still trained outside of the temple you know kind of environment so they're all struggling you know with this that can be your jedi and chaos i guess uh, but they're all struggling with this stuff and what you do what you do is you say well you know she's going to go off and explore on her own and now you can maybe again they've introduced the night sisters they've brought them back you know, maybe the Night Sisters or some other, you know, kind of dark side force corrupts her and says, oh, well, you know, you're trying to delve deeper into your dark side just to understand it, right? You're not trying to turn dark. You want to understand it so you can, you know, overcome it, right? You got to understand your weaknesses. You got to know what you're up against in order to overcome it. So they can seduce her in that way and try to get her to go down this path that will ultimately turn her into a bad guy and turn her into this okay i'm telling you this is where they missed the opportunity right here right and then and then finn who is still her friend okay and they're you know together they're jedi knights they go on adventures and all of this other stuff they're still fighting against an oppressive regime you know that is taking control of the galaxy however you want to put it and you still have the same layout of what george lucas again it's the myth making OK, the myth, you know, kind of like, you know, the dis descent into darkness, you know, Ray is descending into darkness. You know, all of that stuff is filled in myths and legends. There's so many stories that you can tell from a descent into darkness. And that's basically the story that you're telling with Ray. And then you, you do a one off film and then that sets up your next trilogy. All right. It's a one off film. You can see if it works, if it works great. If people are into it, awesome. If not. All right. Then you move on. But I would do something with that. Honestly, I wouldn't do anything with this character. I would get this character the hell out of Star Wars. But if you absolutely, positively got to bring Rey back, like it's just burning in your heart to bring Rey back, then you got to do something like that. Turn her dark. Make her interesting. That's an interesting character, right? And then you have her off somebody important, somebody that everybody enjoys and loves, and that really solidifies the villainy. And now it's up to Finn to redeem her. And you can take the whole Anakin redemption arc, and you know, it's like poetry, it rhymes, and you bring that back around. And now Finn's the hero. Ray, you know, she dies at the end, she dies a hero, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. But you you just don't bring her back and just have her take over for luke skywalker nobody's buying that anyway guys i've been talking too long you let me know what you think about this whole ray movie situation do you like the title a new beginning all right do you want to see a ray film at all if you did have an opportunity to talk to kathleen kennedy and the idiots at lucasfilm what would you tell them to do with this character you know if they say we got to do something what would you tell them to do i've given my ideas you give me yours in the comments below and thanks for watching see you next time